continue our discussion and talking about mineral, uh, talking about feed label or feed tag information. This is just an example uh, of a mineral supplement. And again, the big thing, oftentimes as we describe minerals, we'll talk about a 1212 or a 126 or a 612. Oftentimes when they use numbers in reference to minerals, what they're talking about is the calcium and phosphorus percentage in the mineral. And as you can see on this particular mineral, uh, it happens to be about 11%, guaranteed 11 uh, to 13% calcium uh, and about 7% phosphorus. So that would be a, what's oftentimes referred to as a 2 to 1 calcium to phosphorus uh, ratio in that mineral. And again, like we talked about in, a, in another segment, mineral formulation changes as you move across the state from east to west or north to south. Uh, for example, in the western half of Texas where we have a lot of limestone based soils, uh, we don't need a lot of calcium supplement. Um, our, our forages are typically very, very high in calcium uh, and so it's not that we formulate minerals that are devoid of calcium, uh, but oftentimes uh, we'll feed like a one to one calcium to phosphorus ratio out there. Other parts of the state where you, get that, where you perhaps don't have uh, a lot of calcium in the soil, maybe some of the higher, higher calcium content minerals do very, would, would do very well. The other thing that's of a particular interest in minerals uh, is, is the salt content. I think it's important that you pay attention to that salt content. This particular mineral doesn't have, this particular mineral uh, has only about 10 or 11 percent, I think it says 11 percent salt uh, on the feed tag. And I, I think that's important as you think about what the projected intake is. Again, read that on the label. The manufacturer will give you an indication as to what the projected intake is going to be. But some of these minerals, be they in a loose form, like you see in this sack, or they also come in blocks, typically a 50-pound block, uh, they can vary tremendously in the salt content from as low as maybe 5 or 6% up to maybe as much as 50% salt. So I think it's imperative that when we compare in mineral prices, that we're comparing apples to apples and not just how much is it on a dollars per bag or dollars per ton basis.